here with the man who said at the Emmys he was too depressed to shave, but he seems to have rebounded comedian Dennis Miller. Dennis, what brings you here? Well, you know, I can tell the matches are slow this week. I didn't get this much air time when I had a show. <laughs> you people are cut over here all the time. <laughs> well, you're available, aren't you, to do a tennis show now? Do you like tennis? You grew up watching the Pittsburgh Steelers, but you like tennis? Yeah, I, uh... I'm a new fan of tennis, but I, I enjoy Courier because he's like a uh, nice boy assassin sort of thing. You know, he smiles and puts the Cincinnati red hat on and then just beats you, <laughs> beat you into the ground. So, yeah, I, I enjoy it. Great. Well, I'm sure we'll come back to you for more commentary. You get a couple minutes, Pat. Bye-bye. <laughs> Pat. <laughs> he likes the assassin type. He's a, yeah, he smiles <laughs> at you and then beats you in the ground. <laughs> this is a really a, obviously a very important game for McEnroe. He's just gotten his first service break. What? <laughs> he didn't argue. He wasn't arguing the call. It was just a, it was such a loud call that he screamed back. Obviously a very assured call. Seven. Ooh, that sounds like a racket break. That will be a code violation. Bounce. Code violation, you heard, or perhaps you didn't. It was, though. McInerney is trying to do anything he can to get himself into this match, get fired up. He hollered at the linesman. Now he bounces his racket. And the umpire, Bruno Rabot, has given him a code violation. That's a warning. Next, if there's another one, he loses a point. If there's another one after that, the, the match is over. That's the rule. I'd like to see if he's going to change that frame on the changeover. I mean, he continues to play with it, so I guess it's not cracked. It's 1530. Here he goes again. I did one that's thrown out of the stadium right now. I asked if Bud, and he goes ahead right does it just to get me irritated. I mean, that's just not right. I mean, you keep asking him, he shouldn't be allowed to stay here. Right while I'm asking him, he's changing. I mean, just to make it even worse. It's not fair that he should be allowed to stay in here. How did McEnroe play all those years when there were planes flying overhead? He's done more complaining and, and oftentimes in this kind of a situation Quite please, where he's is Thank behind Quite please. trying to figure out some way to get into the match and who knows, maybe break Courier's concentration. Well, yeah, he's broken Courier in the last game and now he's down 15-30. Obviously, he's feeling all kinds of pressure and he took it out on that guy. Good deep serve. And the attempt at the top spin lob obviously didn't work. And it's 30 all. See how well he sets up, racket up. Good wrist snap, get that racket head traveling through to get pace. This Best gets shot. him to break point once again, this forehand. Great pace. So close to that sideline. McInerney is just going to have to be making better volleys. You know, that touch volley works on, on a lot of guys, but Courier can chase down anything close to that. Even that one, I mean, 
mean, McEnroe, against most other guys, wouldn't have needed the second volley. Jeez. Volley actually landed a little bit short, but it was directed well. And that, again, is the easier part, the smash from inside the service line. three points successfully. He has the advantage. And Courier has won the first two sets. at the USTA's National Tennis Center. And they're asking this photographer, you recall John McEnroe went over during the progress of the game and said he doesn't deserve to be here because he continued to rewind the film Quite please. during the play. That's the referee Tom Quite Barnes please, with his back to you. you. Play continues. And here's what took place. He continued to do it. That got us right in front of that girl. to the right of that person getting in. Oh, okay. He's, he, st he continued to do a line. Now, that's not right. He should be allowed to stay in. Right as I was asking, he continued to change. He just jumped on my face. Now, he should be removed right now. That's not fair. That's John McEnroe's argument. Let's go down to Leslie Visser. Yeah. And uh, I'm down here. Okay. I'll just say it. Okay. That's okay, Tom. Uh, okay, here at uh, down here in the tunnel, referee Tom Barnes said that John McEnroe could not ask to have a photographer removed, but that Tom Barnes asked to have him removed because he said that he was disruptive. Pat. Thank you, Leslie. By the way, one thing uh, that we didn't cover in Love the course of that argument was the fact that uh, Courier on that last course cha court change had asked for the trainer to come out and examine his finger and we'll investigate that further now that's nothing that's nothing to worry about pat courier's been wearing tape on on one of the fingers of his playing hand and it just gets loose with the with sweat it's no big deal it's just a little bit of ripped skin John McEnroe was fined $3,000 for pushing a camera, an operated camera, a television camera, up so much that the cameraman actually had to try to catch the camera. McEnroe, uh, he just, he lost control. And, you know, same old story. Yeah, this is ridiculous. I this mean, is. I'm, I'm, to, I'm surprised. to throw out a photographer because a player asked him to be removed because he's re-rolling his, his film, Whoa! doing his job, what he's being paid to do, and to give these guys publicity all over the world and to kowtow to that, I think, is totally wrong. Let's see if it changes the dynamics of the match. That photographer wasn't happy either. We saw him throw up an obscene uh, finger during the discussion with Tom Barnes. Well, if it's a deliberate disruption well well that's that's Barnes's argument and I can understand what he was saying that the match wasn't going to be going to be able to continue and I'm sure that's what he meant uh, so no one else there can rewind their film right <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> it's bad. 
In the meantime, Courier serving at 1-2, 30 all in the third set. In the grandstand, these have already been completed today. Sanchez, Vicario, over Garrison. That was in the stadium, this was in the grandstand. Tom Barnes, the referee. He's a good guy. We talked to him. We all had a long sit down with him at the beginning of the tournament. And he says so much of what he has to do and what the other guys in the chair have to do is it's judgment calls. What's the best way to keep things fair for both players? And obviously he was thinking of Courier as well as McEnroe on that last changeover. He doesn't want Jim to be thrown off stride just because McEnroe's exploded with some kind of you know, preposterous situation. A, a good job by Courier after all the disruptions to get his act together. Well, his act has been together. Yeah, he has, but that was.